Hello and um, good day to you all. My name is Tunapsat. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, in my previous video, in the video before this, the part one of this version of video, I explained how you can achieve a vector art, a vector portrait illustration like this in Adobe Illustrator. And um, if you want to check that video out, just click the link that just appeared above the video here. And this video is going to teach you how to blend these colors better in Photoshop to achieve um, something like this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing now is to bring in my Adobe Illustrator file. So I'm just going to you know, head over to where my file is. I'm going to drag it over to Photoshop and I'm just going to drop it here. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK. So this is the raw picture from Adobe Illustrator I'll be using for um, the artwork. But the first thing I do is to create a new layer. I'm going to drag this over to the new layer. I'm going to lock the lower layer. And I'm just going to go to quick selection to click on select subjects. I want to select my whole subject so I can make a layer mask on it and I'll be able to you know easily work on my image without having to deal with whatever I'm doing affecting the background. So that is why I like putting a layer mask on. Um on the artwork, you get to I'm just going to go to layer mask and click on layer mask after it has selected my subject so i'm just going to click this so for this artwork it's anybody's guess as to what i'm going to do okay so the whole idea behind it is to you know use my dropper to to pick up a color from my artwork to pick up a color from the subject and use the brush to to you know brush over that part so there's a kind of transition between that part um you know applying my brush on and the either the darker part or the lighter part just so there is a little bit of transition between them and in doing that it's just you are creating um a seamless transition between those parts so these parts that are um these adages at the end of the video will become much softer Okay, so that's just the idea of everything. And I work I work with a constant opacity and I just change around. I change the flow of um the brush. Okay, so I already change the flow of the brush. I, I change it because so as to achieve better results when working on different edges. Okay, so apart from that, what I also like to do is to locate a new window where I see the effect of what I'm working on. Okay, so what I do is I head over to window, click on arrange new window down there. So I'm going to go to window again, arrange then two tiles of two tiles of um, vertical. So this brings up a new window where you get to see the effect of whatever you are working on on um, the active window. So it's easier for you to see. Okay, so just going to drag it well. So make sure you select your subject from the new layer you created, not the black and white, but your subject itself. So you pick your eyedropper part to you sample a part of your subject and you can reduce or increase the flow or just stay around the flow. There, is, there isn't a constant flow. I don't know, just you know you check what works for you. So after selecting the subject itself from the layer. Just click the um, eyedropper part to, to select a part of the image and using the brush, just drag over, you know, drag over those parts. Just keep on, keep dragging over and you would see that there is, there's going to be some, you know, um, a, a, a blood transition or a soft transition on the already sharp edges. Just keep up your tool you can set a keyboard shop shortcut to make it easy for you okay so that's what i'm doing i'm just picking up a part using my brush just going 
going to brush over it okay and um, that is what is happening on the video as you can see for yourself so it's basically just that but do not draw on the layer mask but it should be on the subject itself on your layer all right so i'm going to keep on doing that for now That reminds me, a, a precaution to take note of is not to, you know, pick a color from the dark part and then go ahead to, you know, brush it on a part that is supposed to be light. Okay, so what you do is just pick a portion of the subject, apply the brush on that portion just slightly. Do you understand? On that portion only. So you can also still pick again from that exact portion and still draw around do you understand so that you know when, when you start drawing you get to see the effect it has on your image and as you can already see on this in on the image i'm working on right now they're starting to to you know the, the transition is starting to happen already as opposed to how it was when we started all right so just be careful where you apply the colors that you pick up from. That reminds me, another thing you can do is to bring in your image. Your image exactly. So it can allow you to trace um, the mistakes you've made in your previous illustration. And you can manually apply dark areas to those areas that are a little bit darker in your real image. Or you apply, you know, light colors to you know, those areas that should even be lighter than you have it in the illustration you made okay, so that's what i i'm doing just now just to correct those parts do you understand so and that's what the real image is doing that's the function of the real image there so what you do is just drag your image down to photoshop itself and using the idea of that window arrange then three ties of vertical to bring it um, this way or you can use any other method you deem fit okay so there you have it that's basically um what this tutorial is all about how you can blend colors colors of pictures that you have already from adobe illustrator in photoshop so i use just the brush just my brush for the whole thing and not just colors you can not just for pictures you can bring in from illustrator you can actually draw the pictures in photoshop as well do you understand but i prefer it's actually personal preference so i prefer bringing it from illustrator first and then blending it well in photoshop okay so if you've learned something new from this video i would greatly appreciate it if you can support by liking the video subscribing to my youtube channel and switching on the notification bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos like this because i can assure you there are still more coming okay so <laughs> well let's enjoy the rest of the video and when well, i'm just going to enjoy myself painting this and um, oh, stay blessed.